we launch our own podcast. You can listen to it through Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. We'll be covering stories from around the world similar to those you see on this program, but we'll get a bit more personal and candid with our guests and correspondents. So if you're on the go, whether on the train, driving to work, or just out for a run, give us a listen and make sure to subscribe. Search online for CGTN and The Heat Podcast. U.S. President Donald Trump arrives back home following a state visit to Japan, leaving behind issues yet to be resolved. Hello, I'm Arnand Naidu, and this is The Heat. It was a four-day visit filled with pomp and ceremony, a round of golf and even some sumo wrestling. But behind the warm and friendly relationship between Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and President Donald Trump lay tensions over such issues as trade, the DPRK and Iran. CGTN's Terry Terashima has more in this report from Tokyo. There were a lot of uh, golf diplomacy, sumo tournament and of course a tug of war on the trade front in this uh, trip by uh, President uh, Donald Trump. Now, uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe wanted to achieve a few things here uh, during this uh, uh, presidential uh, visit, but it did not uh, quite end with even par for Abe. First, uh, he wanted to show the importance of the uh, U.S. alliance and friendship with uh, President Donald Trump. He was successful in that. Trump was the first uh, uh, world leader to meet with Japan's new monarch and uh, friendly dinners uh, and talks, uh, executive uh, talks have shown that. Uh, and uh, also on the security uh, pact, uh, Donald Trump went to the Yokosuka Naval Base, inspected Japan's uh, a new helicopter carrier as well as uh, uh, visiting the uh, US 7th fleet uh, there so uh, that was successful on that front but on the DPRK issues uh, it was made apparent that the, the two leaders had a different view especially on the mi uh, recent missile launches by uh, DPRK now Trump said they did not bother him and uh, it did not break the uh, UN resolution despite the fact that uh, uh, his uh, national security advisor John Bolton said uh, it did, and also Prime Minister Shinzo Abe feel that it did uh, break the uh, UN uh, uh, resolution. And of course, on the trade issues, uh, Abe was caught by surprise when uh, Trump said there's going to be a big progress and, and big numbers uh, in August. Now, uh, Japan uh, was not uh, uh, expecting that. Uh, uh, Trump uh, obviously uh, trying to accelerate the, the negotiations, putting more pressures on Japan, especially with the 25% uh, tariffs on uh, auto and auto parts. So uh, there have been uh, differences on that front uh, made apparent between the two uh, alliances. So uh, the, the, it left uh, Abe with a lot to think about after uh, this visit. 